every breath is a new beginning. I've heard this statement before, but I truly understood the meaning of it during the 90 days of practicing static breath holds. I practiced increasing my lung capacity. Specifically, I wanted to be able to hold my breath for four minutes comfortably. What I love so much about sticking to something for 90 days is the nuances you discover. When I diaphragmatically breathe, I can tell that some days are better than the others. My performance, who I am, has improved in ways that I didn't even foresee. So here are my results. Over the 90 days, these were my breath hold averages. My hold times increased quickly, hitting four minutes at day 15. I really enjoyed building my lung capacity. Lung capacity is the number one indicator of good health and long life. So throughout this entire journey, not gonna lie, I kind of felt like a badass. Whenever my eyes would shut, immediately all of my senses were heightened. I was able to feel the different areas of my body where my muscles were clenched. This 90 day journey taught me a lot about self-awareness, specifically body awareness. And through doing that body scan and slowly relaxing each area of my body, I would be able to extend my breath hold. Over the next 30 days, I repeated a four minute hold on day 19 and 43. So it's just a really humbling experience because I did not think that I would be able to get to four minutes. I also became more attuned to my emotions. Before the breath hold, if I was in any kind of elevated mental state, it would affect the breath hold. So I needed to actively calm myself down. Yo, we were here every single day, regardless of whether I felt like it or not. Sometimes I showed up late at night, sometimes I showed up early in the morning at 5 a.m. Practicing at different times of the day taught me that the time of the day actually impacts your breath hold. For example, in the evening, we can achieve higher breath hold times than in the morning because of different gas mixes in our system. Something I disliked about the 90 days was tracking my max breath hold every single session. Max breath holds are intense. They're absolutely intense. And it's this underlying assumption that every single day, you gotta get better. You gotta get just a little bit better, Shin. I better hit three minutes and 30 today and you know, pushing myself for the wrong reasons. The max breath hold duration does not matter. What matters is the learnings, the awareness. And there are so many variables that contribute to that max number that I was unfairly putting too much pressure on hitting a specific target. I faced a little bit of a setback on day 74, and that affected my ability to stay calm during the next few sessions. Here's what that looked like. 30 seconds in, I started to feel like panic. It's only 30 seconds though, you can keep going. And that was my logical brain kicking in. But then I was like, no, something's wrong. My heart's racing, I don't feel good. I, I wanna, I feel nauseous, I feel like I'm gonna faint. And then I finally took a breath, and it took me like a couple of seconds to come back to reality. And that's when I realized I was breathing to 100% lung capacity, putting too much pressure on my chest, and that's why I got dizzy. Such a nuanced thing. But again, if I was to look at the number of like, you only did a minute and 15 seconds today. Well, no, actually, I was self-aware in that moment to stop. I actually made the right decision. So good job, Shin, versus the other story of you only did a minute and 15 is a negative story. Then I started to positively reinforce myself for just showing up and putting in the work. The growth and consistency came naturally. When you start to focus on the inputs, the outputs take care of themselves. Moving forward, I will evaluate myself using these statements. And I'm looking for the right behaviors that lead to success. The two exercises I focused on were carbon dioxide tolerance training and oxygen uptake training. I would use this playlist every day to train and now after the 90 day challenge, I'm training about three to four times a week. For some of you, breath holding can be a negative experience. I truly believe that it can be a pleasurable and positive experience for everyone. If you need accountability to start your own habits, I got you right here. And that is it for me. I will see you in the next video.